You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self-protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature-rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self-Protection Extra. I am your host today, Neil, and I'm here with Stav. I'm just gonna use that because I butchered totally it the other fine. day on our other video, right? <laughs> uh, from She Equips Herself. Uh, we're here in uh, Cleveland on a really nice and blustery cold day. Uh, doing, we've, we're in a two-day class doing our evidence-based pistol class. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wanna talk to you a little bit about some gear selection stuff here. And Stav has learned something this week that oh, yeah. she's going to share with us. And so talk to us a little bit about what holster you showed up with yesterday. Okay, so yesterday I was using my Crossbreed Appendix holster, which looks like this. It has one clip. So that's what I was running yesterday on a belt. Okay, okay. So on a, on a belt, running that with just one clip. And we do a lot of holster work on day one, right? We spent yes. a couple of hours in dry fire. We do a lot of work with our 10 round skill check. Everything's coming out of a holster. And you guys know that you've heard John talk about cross, not necessarily just that brand, but you know, that kind of a holster with the leather backing and all of those kind of things are not a real great solution for the everyday carrier for lots of different reasons. But what reasons did you find where you struggled with that a little bit? Because clearly we're on day two and you're not using that today. No, so I did not why use are you not today. using it today? That's maybe the better question. So for two of my draws yesterday, this whole thing actually just came off my belt and I drew my holster with my gun. So that mm -hmm. was a big problem. Um, also, I couldn't get my hand around the grip of my gun because it was too close to my belt. So it just was not a good okay. fit for being able to get my gun out. So with the hybrid holster, another thing that we see, and, and guys like me that are a little bit more tactical fluffy, uh, <laughs> it, what we see is this sweat guard right here leans against our body and over time, mm the leather wears out and starts to do this. And so then what happens is when it's time to put the gun back in the holster, what people do, and I see it all the time, and we talk about people pointing guns at themselves all the time in classes, you've seen it, yeah. everybody's seen it. But when you've got this going on, they take the muzzle of their gun and push it in like so. Mm. So think about that. Where's that gun pointing right, right now? Right at you. And, and so, you know, it, yeah, it might be a little bit more comfortable, but this is gonna wear out, and all of a sudden you're pointing a gun at yourself. And then, like you said, when you start working, trying to get out of a holster quickly, and the whole thing comes out of, off your belt, out of your pants, loops, or, wh or wherever you've got this thing connected, that is a massive problem. Yeah. Uh, and that's why the hybrid holster is not something that is highly recommended. I get that they're more comfortable, but there's just too many downsides to that, I think. I so, won't be using that again. Yep. So what did you what did you switch to, to for today? So today I'm carrying in, this is actually a beltless holster made by Ultimate Holsters. Okay. So it has a clip that attaches to the fabric of your pants. Can I just take the whole holster? Yeah, absolutely. So if I show you the whole thing, <coughs> it's shaped like this, so it's pretty comfortable because it's flat against your skin. And I had no problem with this. It held perfectly fine. The holster never came off my pants, and this was just a much better fit for what we were doing here today. And what I noticed today was when we did our follow-up to the 10-round skill check that we do, you scored significantly higher this today, right? Yes. Everything got way better, but you were so much more comfortable in your own skin drawing from that holster than you were from this one yesterday. Yeah. Um, your draw to first shot improved dramatically, right? I mean, you were so much faster, and I don't remember the numbers now, but... Uh, it was better than day one. <laughs> yeah, it was way better than day one, and much more comfortable. So when you're carrying something that you can trust a little bit, yeah. you're gonna be more comfortable, you're gonna perform a little bit better because you have some trust in that Especially, gear. like, also when you're in a class, and then your gear starts to it malfunctions on you it gets in your head and then i think it makes you perform even more. it does yeah, yeah I, we've all been there you know you get something in, and even if you've got good gear and all and, and stuff wears out or starts to break down a little bit it isn't running the way that you want it it just it's a mental game right and a lot of this is so much more of a mental game than people recognize you got to have good quality gear Guys, I, I get this is a very popular brand and, and uh, you know, these guys do some good work for the kingdom. Uh, this is not a great solution. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to start a fight with anybody. I get the comments are gonna come. Yep, I'm old, fat, I got a nasty, a lot of white in the beard. Um, this opinion is a pretty well-respected one among a lot of people in our mm -hmm. industry. Get good gear, that's the answer here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, you. Uh, you guys, check out Stav's site. Talk to, talk to us a little bit about you. I have a YouTube channel called She Equips Herself. I do a lot of female concealed carry stuff, um, firearms tips, mostly towards females. So that's my main audience. 
Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you coming to the class. It's been a blast to have yeah, you guys. Yeah, it's been a lot um, of fun. It, it is. It's always fun. We like to have fun in our classes. I mean, this is pretty serious business. Um, and, and from the aspect of self-defense, it sure is, and it certainly is. But, you know, you can have fun while you do it. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of laughing and joking around. We're, we're pretty dead serious when it comes to the safety side of things. That None yeah. of that stuff slides. But there's no reason you can't do this and have fun. And you guys have been a great time here, and I really enjoyed Thank it. I hope we get to do me. this again. Thanks. Cool. See you next time.